I want you to get the most controversial bat season 15. Started right when I was five. Hey, we on this side, nigga. Yo, What's up? Like, pull up. You think you can make a hook? I'm like, hell yeah. Hey, radio. We're here with motherfucking Yo, we're Larry June. We're doing you know, good. You know, we must stay healthy on the punk, bitch. <laughs> He, did he, brought it, he brought his own orange. You know how rare that is? You know, sun slight, very peaceful. I'm going to leave this with y'all. Ooh. Oh, hey, is that a Larry hey, June hey. orange? Like your brand? You Off gotta, the dribble. Ooh, yeah. okay. It's a Larry orange right here. They drop next week. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. Uh, two times a charm, though. This is the second time. Uh, well, the last time didn't work out. Well, we, we were going to have. before, too, on Dash Radio. Well, yeah, yeah. We that. But I mean, yeah. we were going to have. It was one him. of our favorite interviews we ever it did. It was. Oh, yeah, the one. Yeah, you were nigga, so, you were like it, hilarious, but very inspirational. inspirational too. Yeah, remember yeah, when we were yeah. saying you should have dropped a, just a, a tape of just all inspirational talk? Inspirational talking. Larry, yeah. huh? That'd be yeah. clean, son. Inspirational like, Larry. That'd be hard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, we're talking about some stuff off camera. I want about the juicy stuff, but first, I want first, to know why, tell us the story about you being roofied. That was the oh, reason you why know, you didn't you would you make it to the last Yeah, I didn't make it yet. to the last one. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I was roofy. Maybe it was too many big mojitos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm at the Roosevelt. I had um I was actually out here for um recording my album and shit. And the one I, that just I dropped? Was, yeah, I was bored as fuck and I was like, fuck it, I'm finna go to the bar before I go to the ham radio. <laughs> Went to the bar, the DJ knew who I was, like, oh, take care of Larry, free drinks. I was like, all right, nigga turn in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I got yeah. like probably like I saw 15 mojitos and I passed out in the bathroom, couldn't make it to the room, you know what I'm saying? Made it to the ballet, I almost got in a fight at the ballet. Tried, I got way down here and then they, they wouldn't let me out the car. I was like, you know, you know what? The nigga said, you gotta take you back. So, you know, off the dribble, still doing good. Good job, Larry. Very organic. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Lord. Wait, what happened at the valet? Why were you gonna get in a fight at the valet? You know, I was trying to make it to the ham radio. You know what I said? Okay. So I said, you know, I said, I, I said, I got this. You know, I said, on trip, dusted yeah. off. By the time I get there, I'm Gucci. And the nigga wasn't bringing the whip in time. He said he thought I was drunk, which I was slightly drunk. But you know, I had the cranberry with me, son. Slight, made sure I get there safely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Off the Bitcoin. That's what it Off the Bitcoin. Uh -huh. That's a new one. I like that. Are you a Bitcoin investor? I got a couple. What's uh, what currency you fucking with? You know, I got the Litecoin, the Ooh. Icon, the Ripple. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I haven't really been looking into it, man. Cause you know, last time I checked, I lost a lot of money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah. So I just I just shut the laptop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm in a few group text messages. I'm not gonna say I'm a, uh, a major professional at it, but I definitely yeah. made a few dollars. I feel like it's the it. long game. You yeah, just like yeah. kind of let it sit there. Yeah, just let it sit there. I made money yeah. off Litecoin. I made enough to say it with no yeah. knowledge to make six thousand <laughs> off yeah. of Litecoin. Oh, okay. With no knowledge. That's good. Uh, That's it great. It made me want to, uh, you know, look more into it. But then I, I started. Um, no, it was a lot of scams in it too. So you know, you got to be careful. It's like, it's know, like I got what's the one you told me to look into back then, like a few months ago? You and the Reed. ripple. A uh, ripple. I got yeah, ripple too. But yeah. I heard, I heard this. You know, I don't even want to get into the politics behind the, you know, what I'm saying yeah. the, the coin market and shit. See, I don't put any money in it because I'm scared because I don't know what it is and I don't understand. I didn't it. know what it was either. I just seen it was an app and it was. It was fun. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's try I'll, it. Yeah. Let's I was trying to do this. Explain it to you. <laughs> I mean, I literally saw people making money, so I knew it was a real thing. It was, it was real. It was the people that I actually know making like hella but fucking money. But you bro. said you knew a scam where home was. It wasn't a scam. It was just like a. So when Ripple first came out, it was like 0.5 cents. And then my homie Sean was like, yo, this is the wave. What I'll do is, because you can see it fluctuate, it's like stocks. So what he would do is put hella, like, he put like $10,000 down, and then it would go up to like 20 cents. And then once it's at twenty cents, he would pull out and then make hella money off that because he like put quick. so much money in. And then that he sounds put, like some bullshit to me. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like stocks. That's literally what stocks is. That's what I did with Litecoin. I pull it out. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying like a nigga was fucking a bitch. Like, <laughs> let me grab that. That shit hit. That shit went up. Like, hmm. I looked at that shit for like two hours. Let me get my <laughs> shit real quick. Thank you, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, you're doing good. You know what I'm saying? Good job, Litecoin. You know what I'm saying? I was Litecoin yeah. Larry for two weeks. I swear <laughs> to God. Oh God. I'm on Twitter, nigga. I'm I'm tweeting I'm tweeting about the Litecoin like a real professional. You know what I'm saying? Like invest in Litecoin, bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? You will hit for a few dollars. You know what I'm saying? Litecoin Larry doing numbers off the motherfucking dribble. Good job, Larry. Hey, you know we're hey, just talking, hey, but we were hey, just talking hey. about this literally on Friday. I brought up to you. I was like, when we were walking to the store from the party. Yeah. I was like, I don't see people talking about 
the cryptocurrency late the crypto what the fuck's called cryptocurrency because it was like a like weird lately no yeah. one's been talking like for a minute everyone that shit was everywhere yeah. ain't no one talking about that shit no more nobody talking about it because they probably because it, it dropped for a minute yeah. but you know me and uh me and steve cannon made a song called um bitcoin you know what i'm saying i Ooh. you know i gave it a little knowledge on there I, on that song <laughs> i was um bitcoin larry on that song Ooh, okay. but it was it was a good song son slight check that out right now doing numbers good job steve cannon <laughs> <laughs> yes lord groovy <laughs> I like Steve. Yeah. Steve's a good guy. Yeah. Good guy. Cool yes, guy. Lord. Uh, wait, I also want to talk about, we were talking about juicing before this. So you yeah. got, because uh, I was I was telling you guys, uh, we were trying to come up with ideas for you for the show, and we're like, oh, we should have Larry Juice. And then I saw on your channel, you already had a, like a juicing recipe up. Yep. But you said you got 30 recipes? Yeah, I got a few recipes. Something it's like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. But I can't reveal all of them, you know what I'm saying? The game is to be sold, not told. <laughs> So I got a few of them. I got Larry's Red thing. I dropped that one already. A little soft recipe, good for the immune system. You know what I'm saying? You want to take, wake up, take a little jog, hit 10 plus up. You know what I'm saying? Larry's Red thing that'll bounce a nigga back like a little baby tennis ball. I swear to God. Uh huh. <laughs> so what's a, do you do like a lot of research into the recipes or is it kind of just like a- No, you know what I'm saying? I got my little resources. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A few earthy bitches with the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Put me on. Yes, Lord. Do you know what oil of oregano is? What that is? So I like whenever I get a cold. I used to work at a juice shop. Uh, by the way, before ham. What everything. was your favorite juice at the juice spot? I'm a smoothie guy. I'm not really into juices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Ooh. smoothies. I like ones. I don't like uh, fruity ones either. I like coconut and dates and uh, peanut butter and Brazil okay. nuts. You know, like numbers. But um, <laughs> whenever I get a cold and I just got over a cold, I do these two ounce shots where I do ginger, lemon, cayenne mm -hmm. pepper turmeric and oil of oregano and oil of oregano you just put like two drops in it and what is it is, though it's the oil of oregano it's Yo, you should start fuck. putting cbd in is, your shit that's great for you though the point is when you drink it you feel the oil of oregano in your face and it really helps with colds yeah definitely it's like really I good take for them me. in the morning oil I'll take the record yeah i take those the pills oh, though yeah oh the you do the form. pills yeah I do. wait See, I so what does it do just like clears your immune system kind of shit it's crazy man i don't know what it's for either but it's like well when you drink it though that shit is like it's spicier than the cayenne and the ginger. It's like, really? whoa, you tasting me. It's like you're burping up oil of oregano. This shit is crazy. That's crazy. It's uh, really intense, man. I was um I just got put on to the um the Chinese herbs and shit. You know, you heard about that? Like the uh I don't know too much about it either, but I heard it help you live longer, I swear to God. You go to Chinatown to get them? No, I went to um Earth Bar. That's oh, the ones I saw you post on uh, Instagram. Sun slight, you know what I'm saying? I sent you a picture of it. Oh you yeah, know, yeah. something slight, very peaceful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How many? I'm gonna get a little more research, and I'm gonna tap in on the next episode and see what it do for me. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I'm gonna be the tester. How many supplements are you taking a day? Uh, I'm I'm on those now fully though. Three of those a day. Oh, okay. Actually, six of those a day. Something Ooh. slight. I talked to the little health coach and that motherfucker. He gave me a little knowledge. You know, so now he said I should back away from the vitamins for a second and jump on this, and I see a huge difference in my life. Yo, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see. Low key, uh, my friend. My friend's friend is a doctor, and she t she was just they brought up vitamins, and apparently the the doctor said, "Yo, low key like because he said not, low key has a cool ass doctor. They're not FDA. <laughs> doctor Low Key is not uh, said that the vitamins are not FDA approved. Like you don't have to go through. Well, the these are the Chinese Chinese meds, but those well, are better for you. Yeah, they're no, natural. But the, the thing is, like, there's a that's what I'm saying. It's like a lot of these vitamins, like they'll do tests, and there's like nothing in these fucking vitamins. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. Exactly. Yeah, that's why. So I've it's been like these herbs and shit. Yeah. Yep. Cause you going to you going to the natural source and you getting it from um the land the soil that, that don't grow here. It's like it's in Africa, it's in India, yeah. shit. It's coming from different soil and it's it's good for it's good for your body. It's not just you know what I fuck shit. with heavy is fish yeah. oil. Do you guys fuck with fish? I oil? I fuck with the fish yeah. oil too, but it had your it had you uh you be sweating out fish. You That's be smelling cool. like that? fish a little bit. Yo, maybe that's why. Because I used to, uh, I used to, do, I used to run across country and take the fish oil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm running across country real quick. Saw a few miles <laughs> on a punk bitch. And I pull up and the bitch thought I smelled like a fish fillet sandwich. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still doing good. Damn. Mm -hmm. Wait, does it make you sweat more? Because I, this doesn't sound nasty, but I have been sweating a lot in my sleep. You have? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But what would Dr. Larry say? <laughs> what, why, what, uh, what supplement should I be taking for sweating in my sleep? Man, maybe a nice orange or something. Ooh, something okay. slight, little, um, little emergency. You know what I'm saying? Something slight, very like peaceful, emergency. very organic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, you know, uh, 
take your shirt off or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn the fan <laughs> on. <laughs> Some natural shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was yeah, really it was nasty good. the other night. The, uh, Michelle, my girlfriend, said, woke me up. She goes, hey, I'm going to go bring you a towel. <laughs> <laughs> and she laid a towel yeah. on the bed because I was sweating think so about, much. Think about how long she probably laid next to you before she was like, this nasty motherfucker. She sweating. literally said I, I was disgusting. So she's like, I'm waking him up. <laughs> I was like, my feelings were hurt, but also at the same time, I was like, you're right. Would you, <laughs> I swear to God. Would, you, would you sick though no i would this is last night you like start, oh, you i take hella vitamins i go to the gym every you day you start sleeping on the couch water. bro i don't want to <laughs> do something good for your girlfriend bro i have no mm-hmm. idea where it came from so i'm like trying to figure it out did you piss yourself dog <laughs> no nah, i check seriously <laughs> do you make a juice every morning when you wake up nah. no, what do you what do you do in the morning i drink water probably take a jog i've been going to malibu uh Recently, I got I just got a little spot around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, a little, where do you go? Key. I still got my spot in the Bay and shit, huh? Where do you go in Malibu? I just go by the PH, the PH Highway, some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And I just PCH. go by the uh, I just jog over there, smoke a backwood, and jump in the car. You know, I, I do it for the mind. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A I lot did, of shit I do it for the mind to keep my mind flowing. How I need to go and shit. Cause sometimes I just be so caught up in my mind and going by the water and shit, taking my little jogs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Give me a nice little juice. It'll get me ready for the day, so I'll be up at like six fourteen every morning. And that's beautiful too, because you get to see the, the, the sunrise. Yeah, even when it was raining, I, w- I was going like a couple of days ago. It was in the rain. Oh wow! And it wasn't it wasn't raining that much. It'd be a drizzling. Just take a little walk by the water real quick. Go back to the house and knock me out a few songs real quick. That's nice. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah, I was telling him that recently. What I did because um, I just recently started going by the ocean. And first, I was going to Santa Monica. I don't drive, so I took the train from downtown to Santa Monica, uh-huh. and then I took the walk around the uh, Palisades Park to Will Rogers Beaches and Pacific Palisades. Uh-huh. And then I took the bus to Malibu and because I, oh, I took the shit. train because the bus takes you right to PCH. So I went to um, Point Doom. Do you know that beach? I'm not Point Doom. So it's like this beautiful beach in Malibu and then on the bluffs, like overlook the beach, there's called the Point Dooms Preserves and you kind of just like, it's like trails and you, so you could, I walk it like a little hike type thing. Yeah, yeah. So I walked it and then you walk down the stairs back to the beach mm-hmm. and then you walk along the beach but the sand's like flat over there yeah. and you walk it all way to paradise cove which is like one and a half miles two miles almost so it's like a two hour walk along the beach and along yeah. the way you can pass all these private malibu beaches yeah. i stopped halfway brought a breakfast burrito with me sat down <laughs> listened to some guided meditation it was like the perfect day no it's really cool though for real that shit really good for the mind for sure for sure good morning bitch ass nigga i'm larry june and this is how you do good with larry Yee-hee. suck it to me you're doing good yes lord Use the fruits. Take the, um, get you a nice mango or a grape sun slight. You know, it's anything you can do. Just stay peaceful and just stay away from the sugar, the starburst. You know what I'm saying? Good job, starburst. I love starburst. We all love starburst, but you know what I'm saying? Try to take that and do the natural, the fruits. You know what I'm saying? Do the, the natural sugars. You know what I'm saying? Get you an orange, a mango, some grapes. You know what I'm saying? A watermelon on a punk, bitch. Sun slight. Very peaceful. Sleeping is very important. It gets you through the day. Cause you know, I wake up at 6.14 every morning on a dot. You know what I'm saying? Take me a slight jog, you know what I'm saying? Something slight. But I realized that the, the no sleeping was catching up to me on the punk bitch, you know what I'm saying? So um, I started sleeping more, you know what I'm saying? And uh, things has been going good for me. Get your sleep, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't run from sleep. Don't, don't feel like you, you know what I'm saying? Team no sleep, I was with that. I swear to God I was, you know what I'm saying? But rest is always good for the body. Stay healthy, yes Lord. I do the Montclair jackets and the hoodies and the beanies and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? The little leg warmer joints, you know what I'm saying? The little doop spandex joints, the little eep beep beeps, beep, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the thing's called, the little basketball player you're wearing. I be doing them, you know what I'm saying? The under armor joints, something slight. And I'm a nice hoodie, Montclair doing numbers. Good job, Montclair, 1500 on the punk bitch, you know I'm rocking, you know what I'm saying? But that's how I do it, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I'm on the East Coast, I spend a lot of time in DC, you know what I'm saying? New York City, it be freezing, I swear to God, snow and shit, good job. Snow. So that's how you stay warm. Get you a nice jacket, nice hoodie, a beanie, you know what I'm saying? And then you get it deep deep. See what I'm saying? <laughs> man, that's when you keep it pushing like a button, you know what I'm saying? Get a bitch a little freeze time until the bitch goes to the club or something, man. Go shake that ass. You gonna realize it ain't a nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? You know of a bitch that love you off top. Bitch, do you love me? You can't you can't be a simp. You never you never give away the power, man. Once you lose the power, is there's no more, you're not a player no more. Now she's running the game. You know what I'm saying? Well all love to the women, you know what I'm saying? You just can't play the P, I swear to God. Something slight. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know fuck with the nigga like, you know what I'm saying? How that spell doing? Teach me to spell. I'll fuck with you, my G. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't beat it, join it. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he can put you on some spell tactics. You know what I'm saying? You might want to cast a spell on a bitch ass nigga that was disrespecting you. You know what I'm saying? So you don't got to harm the nigga. I got a spell for a punk ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Good job, spell. <laughs> That bitch needs to delete her Instagram and go hiking more. <laughs> Nigga gotta work on his ankles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hit them angles. You know, I learned that too. You can't just you can't just be going straight forward. You gotta like, you gotta really peep the, the facial expression of the shit. Cause bitches to be just being too quiet. I don't like a bitch being too quiet. I'm in there trying to do my thing. I'm on turbo mode. You know what I'm saying? Going stupid, the bitch just sitting there. But I realized the angles, you know what I'm saying? Cause the bitch probably the nigga, some nigga probably a little buff nigga probably was before you. That angle, he probably already wore that angle out. You might have hit her from a side while one of them, one of them ones. Like, whoop. Whoop, you know what I'm saying? I do some different shit, and then you feel me? She probably ain't gonna have to masturbate no more. I swear to God. You can ask him why the swag has been jacked. <laughs> why me? <laughs> why take my swag? <laughs> so only a little simple question. Ask the nigga why real quick. She could be annoyed because I wouldn't want my bitch calling a nigga Papa. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, man. I, you know what I'm saying? Don't do me like that. Don't, don't do me like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, that you went back to the spot and made a couple songs. So you're very positive. You're probably top five most positive people I've ever met. What's Thank Dark Larry like? Dark Larry? Yeah. Is there a Dark Larry tracks? Uh... I don't really get too dark no more. You know Did what I'm you saying? used to be dark? <laughs> that uh, sounded so cheesy. Did you, you used to be dark? dark? You know, I had my moments. Yeah. You know, I, you know, got into my situation, you know, you know, the dark side of shit. Like, at what point did you become positive? Did something happen that... Like, when I had my switched? son. When I had my son, you know what I'm saying? That happened, what, when you were 20? Yeah, I did 20, some research. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I had my son. I'm 20, 26 now. He'll, he, he's six now. And that kind of... um. It slowed me down, you know what I'm saying? I was before I getting arrested doing dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? And the, you know, I don't want to speak too much because I'm still, you know what I'm saying, my life to get my life together, I must stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? But my son definitely uh, motivated me to get on my, um, I want to be a good, a good role model for him, you know what I'm saying? And when he look at me, he got something, he know, he know what I've been through. I talk to him, I tell him a little shit, but right now he just needs to you know, stay healthy, stay in school, get your money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Stay healthy on a punk bitch. Did you start stuff. seeing the change uh, when, when um, before your son was born, or was it like once you saw your son, you had this like thing where like, oh shit. Yeah, for that sure. That's kind of like what changed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. When I saw him, I've heard that a lot. Yeah, like, it was weird too. Yeah. It was definitely weird for sure. It was like, what the fuck? This shit, <laughs> this shit really real. You know what I'm saying? Did you like make you? I didn't. Even, I didn't. I didn't think I was having a kid till he actually came out. Like, oh shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't mine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't be me, you know what I'm saying? Hell no, nah, I'm still, I'm still, you know what I'm saying? Like, hold on, turn that. But that was him, he had that head. Baby you know came out, I was like, hey, ooh. Yeah, exactly, he had the little noise effect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he definitely, you know what I'm saying, put me on the positive track, you know what I'm saying? And and I've been going hard ever since, man. I, I was, it, wasn't, it wasn't an instant positive, but I definitely got to the money and did what I had to do, you know what I'm saying? He, he needed to be driving in the best cars. He needed the best shoes. He needed to be living in the best areas and shit. So I had to run my checkup, you know what I'm saying? Did everything I had to do. And it's not really what you do. It's how you do it. Yeah. You there know you what I'm saying? That's dope. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They'll never know, you would never know the whole story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, not, it's not for everybody to know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I could tell you to stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? Stay out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Jog in the morning. Mack a few bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go for a hike, do some peaceful shit. You know what I'm saying? You only know, live once. Yeah. So he's at that age where he's like starting to like stuff, right? Like, yeah, yeah. what's what like music is he listening? To? Like, are you putting him on to certain like music now? Man, he be on YouTube a lot. Yeah. He put me on the music. Oh really? He what? like he like the little Maddox kid. Yeah, he's like this like, kid's my age. Yeah. <laughs> he seen the fidget spinners. He's like, oh shit, that nigga on there <laughs> posing with the fidgets and shit. He like and he like uh. He into like the Disney stars, you know, he a kid. Yeah. So, you know, so I don't really, you know, he he be on the, on his cell phone, the iPad doing his little shit. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't really know. I just know he he ain't doing no no crazy shit. No right. He like my he like my ad libs a lot. Yeah. I'm not sure if he was a fan of the music, but he <laughs> loved the ad libs. <laughs> That's Definitely, awesome. Yeah. Have you uh do you think he's in a uh would you encourage him to be a musician growing up or whatever you want to do. Yeah. And I'm gonna support whatever you wanna do. Like, you know what I'm saying? You wanna play baseball, you wanna get a job at Taco Bell, whatever yeah. you wanna do, just be the best at it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's well, by that time, the, the juice empire will be huge. Yeah, he can, and he'll just, be yeah, like, he can work at the juice shop. The worst come the worst. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it up. You think you want to open up a juice shop? Like Definitely. You, I definitely. That's definitely in the. Uh, I think that I remember well. before you said you want to open up a health food. You want to do a Larry Foods. Yeah, you really Larry do a juice Foods. shop? Or you want to do Yeah, that? I'm a. I'm a um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on the music. Get to I need to get to with the music, and I feel like from there I can do whatever I want to do. You know, I sure. think it'd be a good idea. I don't know if I should give it away. Well, you said it, so you have to. You have to, you have to clearly get it. What, <laughs> what if there's a juice bar food truck? Yeah. I would love that. Like you come out of the club uh, and instead of having to give uh, taco a burrito some shit, I want to get a healthy juice. That'd that's, be, that's a really good idea. That's low key a good. Uh, yeah. I wish I didn't say that. That's real shit though. <laughs> Feeling bad about yourself? Give me a motherfucking <laughs> ginger <juice> shot. <laughs> I have work in the morning, bitch ass nigga. Turn me back up. You know what I'm saying? Just feel better about yourself in that Uber. Bitch, take this motherfucking juice hole. Yes, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like a bacon wrapped hot dog, that's a good thing. Exactly. Even worse. You know what I'm saying? That's, it makes sense. Some little organic Doritos or something. You know what I'm saying? Something slight. Are you vegetarian? <laughs> definitely not a vegetarian. You know You're definitely not a vegetarian? Yeah, but I fuck with the healthy shit, free yeah. range chicken. You know what I'm saying? I make sure all my, food, my meat is on. You know what I'm saying? Fresh from the whole foods. And you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's nothing slight. I'm not already. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Not no full vegan type shit. I know some vegan bitches and shit, though. Yeah, they put me on the game, the little restaurants. It, it's smooth, but I can't do it for too long. You know, yeah. I, I grew up on the chicken wings and all that right, shit. Right, right. Same. So uh, it was hard. You grew up in, do you grow up in Atlanta or the Bay? Both. Both. I was in ATL from, from kindergarten to uh, to seventh grade. And then I moved back with my dad in the Bay Area from, from seventh grade to now and you knew Maco way back then right yeah i knew Maco in sixth grade oh wow you know, what, was, the, what, was, the, what was what was y'all doing in sixth grade were y'all hanging out were you guys friends back then yeah yeah that's my homie yeah we was you know sixth grade shit we was rapping in the hallways roasting each other and shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> skating rings and shit you know atlanta's something completely different yeah. when i was over there some young nigga shit you know what i'm saying just normal shit he went to my school my homie and shit cool nigga yes lord good job Maco. numbers <laughs> You know That's really dope, actually. Yeah. Um, but you, the, the crazy part about it, you know, I knew TM since elementary school. Like, since oh, like. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Like, nigga, we lived in the neighborhood when I was in, like, first, second grade. He was my neighbor. Really? What was he like in L- What was he like back uh, then? You know, he always been a legend. He was a real quiet dude, real legendary type shit. You know what I'm saying? He's very eccentric. That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, he, he, love- on a, he on a different planet. You know what I'm saying? TM, yeah, yeah. TM a legend. His, his beat style, everything about him is did like. You, did you know, when did you find out he was making beats? Well, remember, like, he, early Larry stuff, he had a, he had an EP early on with, T, with TM. Yeah, my first EP I dropped was with TM88. Oh, really? Yeah, remember, yeah. he gave it to, all right. So we met Larry because at he performed at South Thrax by. House. Yeah, Thrax at South House. by Southwest, uh-huh. and he gave and he gave oh, us his CD, yeah. which was with TM88. So Thrax House they gave you the CD too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what Check out my disc, nigga. Because <laughs> I didn't know who you were yet, mm-hmm. and then MacNed was like, "Yo, we got uh, have Larry do some songs." Yeah, and you did I, the you did the Vot. What was his song? My Vata. My Vata. I, so, I remember you afterwards. Me and you were I like, went. I went. Who is this? I was like, this is tight. We thought yeah. you remember a Thrax House that we had known yet. I literally took that CD. I took the CD and I put it in my car. Real, and, the, and it was like, I was like, "You're the only person where I was like, I, I, I'm, I was like, whoa, okay." I was like, "I was like, oh shit, he's down with Thrax House. He got an EP with uh, Wait, TM88." How, how did you link with Thrax House? You so you just know everybody, man. I, man, I don't even know. I think you, said, I, honestly, you told me you met them at South by. You I did. I did met them at. Yeah, yeah. You know what? My um, we had we had the same house. And uh, we had a big ass Airbnb like house and shit with like I knew uh, Ill Chris, and then I already I talked to um, Kinata, to Kiata, yep, and now we we met up and then we just was cool instantly like that was like my bro ever since. When you met Kinata, were you already aware of like the Raider Clan stuff he had done before? No, nah, he you? put me on with that though. He oh. he was showing me all that shit. I didn't really I wouldn't really like into the whole underground scene yeah. until like I dropped that TM at the I started researching what was on the internet. I didn't know shit about none of that shit. Oh, wow. that's crazy. You know what that's and what's really cool about yeah. you being, you know, uh, Thrax House bringing you out is that Thrax House now is like what goth boy, like click, Thrax click, House yeah. turned into goth boy click, you know, Lil yeah, Peep yeah. and all that. Uh-huh. So it's like very legendary, everything's intertwined. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's a small man. world. It's crazy, very yeah. small <laughs> world, man. You drive a Prius? I got, 
I got a lot of cars. I got a lot of cars. I just yeah, got yeah. a new Prius. You fuck with the new Prius? Yeah, got- nah, I want really one. Nice. I want one. I like it. I got the little mini Prius, you know what I'm saying? A little red mm-hmm. thing, you know what I'm saying? It's really a Versa, though, but I call it the Prius, you know what I'm saying? It's something <laughs> slight. You know what I mean? Good yeah. job now. Good <laughs> Nissan, you know what I'm saying? I got the BMWs and shit still, you know, I keep it slight. But I like my bike the best. Specialized Ooh. stump jumper, forty five hundred out the store. You know, what I'm saying cost motor niggas motorcycles and shit. Wow, <laughs> you know that's hard. How uh-huh. many miles do you do uh, on the bike? Man, it's not really that many trails out here. It's not yeah. really that many trails. I gotta find some ones, but in Frisco, you know, I'll be all through the Golden Yo. Gate, Nevada, and shit, San Rafael, and the hills and shit. Out here, it's kind of like little street trails. But then yeah. again, I might not know where to go. So if anybody know where to go, please Just tap go in. Just go PCH, man. I be seeing Reggie Miller. I was following Reggie Miller on the Instagram. He be biking all the spots. I tried to DM Wait, really? him like, bro, where you at, bro? <laughs> that shit look smack. Link. <laughs> Yo, is it ever get scary? Because I got a homie who stay in Oakland and every time I'm out there, he makes me bike ride. Like that's how yeah. he gets around. And the like when I not the hills, it's when you hit the main street. It's like all those cars, and you're just like literally like an elbow away. Like I can't, I freak out, like I start yeah. shivering and yeah. shit. Like, yeah, I don't even be doing all that. Yeah, yeah, I, you gotta I go just somewhere trails. very naturist where. Yeah, it's like, uh, okay. Right, I don't know how to ride a so bike. He's putting my life. You don't know how to ride a bike. I never learned. <laughs> That's crazy. You a I legend. know. Real legend. I never learned. You know how to ride? Yeah, I know. How okay. To ride. Yeah. I think minute, I could though. do. I feel like I'm old enough. I can just nah. jump on one and do it. Nah, you can't ride a bike. All right, you can you can barely sweep. I don't have very. This one is this one really is sweet. weird. I, bro, we <laughs> live, bro, we lived together for like a year and a half. I know how to sweep. What, what is he this? Could not, he did not know how to hold a broom. Okay, I'm gonna no, be honest. Like, he was like confused, like, <laughs> and I said, "Give me the, give me the." I said, "Give me the fucking broom. I'll sweep." I'm gonna be honest. Like, I was playing you to make you uh, sweep. Nah, but to be, nah, <laughs> nah. I know your face, dog. You nah, look legit nah, confused. But to be you honest, were like, like, I'm not good at a lot of things. I don't know how to ride a bike, and so. I've been to county jail a few times, and sometimes you gotta clean it, you gotta sw- sweep the dorm, and I was like, I'm gonna do it wrong, uh-huh. and that shit was scary, cause I don't wanna get <laughs> fucked up, you know what I mean? What, so what, oh, you, what did you have to like, is just your beds need to be all tucked in and shit, or what? It's different for like, the white guys in there, there's not as many rules, like, this people, like, cause for like, the Southsiders and the brothers, I sounded so fucking county jail-ish, the brothers, you know, you have to like, um, they, you have to make your bed, and you have to put your bunk up, and you can't like, sit on your bunk, but, for the white dudes, uh, the guy, the guy that's like, the shot caller, usually doesn't give a shit, and, and lay in bed all day. That's crazy. <laughs> like I didn't have to like go in the Lazy yard. Ass white people, I had to go man. in the yard and play sports. I don't want to play sports either. I'm not very good at sports. And so I don't want to like You know, honestly, I, I don't f- want to not be good at sports in county jail and then like, you know, get someone to want to beat me up because I'm not good at playing basketball. I honestly feel like the hardest people in the world do not know how to play sports. Eh, well, they get like, like you, you get the toughest person that that's just like But in like, county jail, the south side and the throw brothers, a basketball. There's like mandatory. I bet you it would look super listen, funny. There's mandatory they have mandatory yard. So you have to go to the yard and exercise or run or play basketball. Yeah, but I'm talking about like throwing a baseball. Like you give like and they beat your ass when you when they lose. That's what I'm saying. See? And that's why. I, that's why. That's why. Even if I want to go to the yard, I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna go see out there. See me with these hands, nigga. Yeah. See, <laughs> see, I don't want to go out there and try to play a sport and fuck up and someone be mad at me because they get mad pretty fucking easy. In so what did you do? Just stand in the corner? You just stood in no, the corner? No, I hung out in the day room and just watched TV and shit and wrote in my journal. So and I would like, and I read whatever shitty little uh, you know crime books that would come. You know, it's very like the worst books. <laughs> Fair game. There's no Yo, good literature. Would they be? Uh, can yeah. you get sage in jail? Huh? Can you get sage from the commissary? You think you could? I don't know. Probably not. No, you can't light it. Know. You don't get lighters. But yeah, I don't know. Um, people like things in, anyways when I was there the white dudes were like smoking tea they're like rolling tea like a joint is so fucking that weird I didn't like was yeah. it fire? I didn't participate in it it sounds I peaceful I did not participate in I it I saw them smoking kush <laughs> too in the shower but I'm like when I've been to jail a few times and I try to keep to myself so even if like dudes are like smoking kush and it's like other white dudes so I know I can go there and smoke kush with them I don't want to like be involved in anything like shysty yeah. so I just like although do you know what Seroquel is? It's like uh, antipsychotic that makes you hella sleep. So I did start trying to get my hands on Seroquel and I would trade like uh, foods and shit for it. Be- yeah. Or like soups because well, then, I, no, because yeah. Seroquel soup. Because then, <laughs> then, <laughs> then you can sleep your time Second, away. You got the Seroquel no, spread, do a little Freddy <laughs> spread. Yo, and actually I'm vegetarian and the homies would even look out for me and make a vegetarian spread. So this was, was this recently? Eat. Um. This no. I've been. I'm sober. I got sober nine years ago. Oh, okay. And so the last time I got sober that year, I went to jail five times. When you wasn't sober. Yeah, but actually, since being sober, I went to jail three times for old warrants. 
Oh, uh, yeah, they had yeah. to bounce you back. Come knock this out real quick. Yeah. Okay, that's fucked We up. were DJing a party in after hours, and the cops came, so we were DJing, checked our IDs, let everyone go. That was our party. But then they were like, <laughs> okay, you're right. And then they let everyone go, and they're like, except for you, come with us. You have a warrant. Yeah. And so that was I remember shitty. I was getting, they unhandcuffed me, and they were walking me out, and I was like, he's like, you can go. And I was like, oh, I'm going to wait for him. And then he goes, Oh, he ain't leaving. <laughs> oh, that's and that like, yeah. And then a time up. before that, we we're at the to- crazy party, judges though. Yeah, it yeah. was one of our parties. Yeah, all our security was uh, handcuffed. Because I don't like, want. I guess, uh, yeah. And then another time. Well, not because of that. And then, but that's right. They, our party got busted because they got busted. But then right. that's how they found out he. Had well, party. then another time we were supposed to DJ when I first met you. We were supposed to DJ a house party. Yeah. I didn't make it because I was living in this little studio in Uncle Park. I was pissed. I and, thought you were ignoring and, my phone call. And knocks, yeah. I was like, this fool. And someone knocks on my door. <laughs> And this is after I'd only been sober for maybe a year and a half, a year. Yeah. I get a knock on the door and they're saying like it's the uh, auto mechanic shop or like my car's going <laughs> to get towed. Some you. shit. And at the time I was selling drugs too even though I was sober. Yeah. And I was like, huh? And they kept banging on the door. I was ignoring it. And then they were like, it's the police. We have a drug warrant. So I took the cocaine. And when I had him pick it up, I threw it out the window. And then I told him when on the phone over jail where to find it to go grab it for me. Um, but they came in. I said, old drug warrant. And I didn't time for that. Damn. It's fucked up because you think you get sober, you're gonna be jail free. I've been three, jail three times being sober, yeah, but it's just crazy. old shit. But you're, you doing, know you're doing good now. I am doing good now. Good job, you're, juic- you're juicing. Yeah, I was saying you're juicing. I'm, I am juicing <laughs> while eating smoothies, taking but, walks by the water. You know what I'm saying? But you know, what, what, what's they get you in the system? <laughs> what's they get you in the system? Man, they really try to keep you in there. Definitely, definitely, for sure, for sure. Are you still fighting stuff? Are you still nah, probation or anything? I stay. I, I lay low for years, man. I'm cool. I ain't went down since 21. Oh, really? Since I turned twenty one, I'm twenty six. I'm smooth. I am very peaceful. That's I don't good. even. I read and that when you... I do, and when I do get pulled over, I know my rights. I know what I got to do. You yeah. Know? I don't smoke weed in my cars. If I, you know, what I'm saying about if the wool wop is in the the machine. You know, what I'm saying I keep it in the box, registration on deck. You know, what I'm saying if, it, if I need to do something, I need to. If not, if I can get away from the situation, I'm out. If not I get jail. to the point, yeah. you know, what I'm saying I will get on your line like a shoestring. You know, what I'm saying it's not <laughs> slight, but it's very peaceful for the most part. You know what I'm saying I read if you don't want to talk about it, it's fine. I read uh, that you beat a trafficking charge. Oh, uh, yep. How did Ooh. that? How did wait? You not- I literally that's so funny. There was a statistic that like 90% of people don't fight traffic charges. No, trafficking. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it was through the Alameda County, some shit. It was like some like said traffic. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, you, was, beat, you beat a red yeah, light? Hell yeah. It was some, it was some dumb shit. They didn't, they didn't read me my rights in the. Uh, and that's it, it was just, it? yeah, they didn't read my yeah. rights and they, they didn't pull me over. They pulled me over in the wrong spot. I was parked already, you know what I'm saying? And it was like more of a, it was really the money that, that, um, that made it like suspicion. And they found, oh, they found the drugs, they, found, a lot the, of they found a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? But it was the money, it was the big thing was the money. It was like 20,000 cash. It was like tax invasion or some shit. And it was like, we have suspicion of this. It was the suspicion shit, but it was like definitely trafficking because it was the amount of weed I had. But it wouldn't have back then. But that, I'm good. My yeah. lawyer, that was smooth. I heard you didn't have to go to the hearing, but you went anyways. Huh? I heard you, I heard that you didn't have to go to the hearing, but you went anyways. Oh, yeah, I went. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, where, was this? where was this at? I, <laughs> I read it somewhere. Like, where's no, my info at? No, the lawyer, the lawyer, because it, so it was so many loopholes in it just from the whole way they even got on me. You know what I'm saying? To the yeah. point it was like, when my lawyer read over, he's like, oh, they did this, this, this. Oh, you Gucci. Ooh. And it wasn't none of that. I, I just had to prove how I had the money, and I had... um. I had to prove how yeah. I got the money. I <laughs> yeah, got yeah. I got the money back. And, uh, oh, awesome! You got the yeah, money back. That's rare. You know, I feel master like manipulator. That, that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not easy. Yep. Yeah, that's very rare. No, it took a couple months. Yeah, it was. It was not letting that go. They're hoping like, you give I up. Had, but who's in I had to do a separate court day just to get the money. Oh wow! You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was already good. I had to, to get all my shit back. A separate court day, and they had to tell me yes or no if I can get it. Wow! I had to get a the lawyer for that too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit yeah. crazy, man. But yeah. that's that's some shit that I don't, I don't, I'm not going. Now we in positive. We we yeah, in positive shit. world. Yeah, we are positive yeah, now. Um, yeah, you know, where was, where was that even at? I don't even think I ever told. This nobody. is from the first time that um, we were gonna have you. I did research then. I don't remember where I found it. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So, <laughs> I'm not lying. He's like, yo, I hacked your phone. <laughs> I, I, I traced your email. Did you tweet yeah. about it or something? Like, yeah, that's cool. But yeah, that's that's nothing. I don't even really care about all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Honestly. It, <laughs> That was the worst. That was the worst dumb shit. Yeah. Was a waste of time, waste of money. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather that be is. sipping mojitos with a few bad bitches. You know what I'm saying? That shit boring as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you had to choose between LA and the Bay, which place would you choose? 
uh, in the Bay, for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love LA too, though, but I'm, I'm from the Bay. You know what I'm saying? I know the Bay Area more and shit. You don't think it's a little too all windy? My, all my family in the Bay Area, but I love LA. LA is, it's no other place like LA, for sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and I get so much done over here. There's so many good people. You know, you got to weed through it, but it's a lot of good people out here, my whole team out here in LA. So, you know, living wise, the Bay Area. So, you know, when I get, what I need to do, I'm a, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> get the little nice mansion out there in the Bay somewhere. Where would you get a mansion in the Bay? What what area? Oh, you already know I'm going to Sausalito. I was about to go and get bridge sign yeah, okay. site. You know what I'm saying? A little secret, little cut spot out there. I've always yeah. said that if I don't picture myself le- leaving LA, but if I did have to and I had the money, I would move to the Bay. Yeah. I love really? the Bay. Yeah. That's the only other place. The weather's that, much better in LA. That's the only thing that fucks me up. Yeah. Is that I don't know. Too, I like wearing I like wearing so, being no, able to wear a jacket. It's too anytime. windy though. Yeah. I got nice hair. I can't be having the shit. It's not windy all the time. Yeah. I guess it's, if you t- LA more like it's more to do in LA. It's like Yeah. The Bay Area is more like a um settle down it's definitely turned up in this area but it's, it's a lot of very peaceful areas and shit unless you go to them areas like you go to hunters point that's where i'm from you go to east oakland you go to richmond it's, it's hoods everywhere but it's a lot of very peaceful and it's, it's beautiful places out there to the point that i i feel like a tourist a lot even oh, when wow. i'm even when i'm living there I just go do certain shit that i just never did mm-hmm. see different places and shit and i'm sure la like that too I just don't know. I don't even know to ride my fucking bike yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like the Bay has changed a lot though. Like with all the like the the fucking app people. I don't know what it's the called. Silicon Valley. The, the, oh, the, techies, Valley. the techies and all yeah. that shit. Have you? Did you see? Uh, oh, the I saw prog- a documentary the, about that. The progression of like what like you know the Bay was, and then they came in and all that. Because really oh, yeah. definitely yeah. changed. The whole hood changed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Hunters Point. Like the whole shit changed. It's crazy. It got like. They trying to move people out, you know the little gentrification shit. Yeah. They moving people out, you know, and and um, Hunters Point is a very valuable land, man. You know, like in the projects, you can see the water from the back. You know, what I'm saying, but you in the real hardcore projects where niggas is getting killed. That, but this beautiful land, you know, oh, what I'm wow. saying. Yeah. And you know, I think with the techies moving in and shit, they need that land, so they trying to get niggas out. Wow. You know, what I'm saying, yeah. and uh, they building shit, and you know, you that's it's going on everywhere. I heard it's going on in Inglewood too. Yeah. Yep, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I stay in the Bay, I like to stay, uh, I stay in Oakland, I stay by Jackson Square or whatever. Uh-huh. And because I, I like the hotels on the water, I was telling Stunner Man, and Stunner Man was like, well, and Stunner Man was like, man, that's where the hookers are. Where? In, oh, in <laughs> Jackson, Oakland? Yeah, Jackson Square or whatever. In oh, Oakland. Jack London Square? Yeah, Jack London Square. Oh, they're everywhere in the Bay. Oh. <laughs> Not just there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're everywhere in the Bay. Do you for find sure. more influence in your music from the Bay or from Atlanta? Uh, the Bay, for sure. And uh, I feel like with Atlanta, cause you know, I as a I grew up like my manlyhood in the in the Bay Area, so I actually had real experience as a as a man in a, in the Bay Area and shit. Atlanta it was more of my childhood. I was right. young. I'm going to the skating ring, you know, what I'm saying fighting, going to playing hoop and the shit. I was with my mom, so it was a whole different story. My mom, you know, more like come home at this time. Woo woo. When I come to the Bay, I ain't got no rules, niggas to the neck. I got bitches at the crib. He turned up. <laughs> Did you listen to a lot of fuck, Bay Area huh? rap? Did you listen to like Short and the Jacka and all that? Oh, for, sure. for that? sure. For sure, for sure. For sure. The Jacka, Messy Mar, I was a big Messy Mar fan. You know what I'm saying? And Juice, Bullies with Fullies, all that shit. Um, man, Mac Dre, E-40. You know, I, I got music with E-42 on this one this album. Oh, yeah? oh, dope. Yeah, a long time ago, probably like before I was even Larry June. He put me on. It's a song called uh, "My Money Straight." Oh wow! Me E Forty, uh, R B L Posse, Black. Don't Chris. give me no bammer. We oh, yeah, don't smoke that. I'm old, bro. So that's I'm... my family <laughs> from the same hood. That's my family. Oh really? For, yeah, oh, crazy. definitely. Oh, wow. For sure. And uh, we dropped that a long time ago. I, man, the Bay Area, man. It, I feel it's no place like the Bay for sure. It's so funny. You know what's really interesting me about E Forty? Well, like the click. E Forty was just like so early on. It's like rap weird as fuck. Yeah. And didn't give a fuck, like because it wasn't acceptable in the early nineties. He just like did it. Head of the game. Yeah, yeah. and you like, hear his old shit and be like, "What the fuck?" This yeah, like Mr. Flamboyant and all that. Legendary. He's Legendary. One, he's one of the people that can be on a track now and he won't sound dated. True. Like he, it's very rare someone who's been around that long like could get on track and sound current. Yeah. Yeah. Like and then still keep the same flow he was doing in. That's the, what I'm saying. Yeah. Nineties and you know what I'm saying that shit. Yeah. Legendary. The nip- Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's he's. You'll uh, go back and like, hold on, what that nigga just say? Yeah. Hold on, rewind that thing. Good I think job, it's interesting too. I think good. it's interesting. The click was all his family, because what Billy just his cousin, mm-hmm. uh, Sugar T, exactly his cousin. Yeah, all mm-hmm. his family. 
You know what I heard back in the day? That's probably not true. What? That's not really the Bay, though. Sacramento, that's not considered the Bay. Uh, It's not, but I mean, it's Because right I, I heard Brother Lynch was like the Valley Victorian of his high school, which is really funny to me. Brother Lynch? What is a Valley I ain't even finished. That's college. like... He's like uh, the, the, the most accomplished person in school. He's like the smartest. Yeah, it's like the best grade. Someone's probably just shit. trying to throw dirt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're like, fucking with you. seemed pretty gangster. And like, no, he was a Valley Victorian at his high yeah, school. Probably, I was like, really? you, you go. He probably was. He probably was smart as fuck. You never know. That's clean. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah, I wish That's I was. True. Yeah, you know what's funny is like I feel like if you didn't tell me where you were from, I would have guessed the Bay. Like everyone really? that we meet from swag. the Bay, it's because yeah. it's the positivity, man. Like everyone is like anytime we have like Pilo, anyone from the Bay, yeah, even the gangsters, they like to dance. It's in like the bay. everyone's yeah. in LA. They'll be doing that. Everyone's like, yeah, what dancing? Yeah, not I like, thought not niggas bay. be jerking not and like shit. Not like in the Bay though. Not you know like, what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're right. They be drinking. Yeah, niggas be yeah. dancing in LA for sure. I go but, to Venice Beach. But, but, like, but you know, they don't carry that vibe with them. Like I, remember, I feel like I remember, Bay people are seeing, always like um, having like fun. What's mm-hmm. what's what's Pilo and them's crew called? Uh, HBK. HBK. Yeah, the HBK. Yeah. I remember Heart, seeing them all perform. Heartbreak. They're all on stage. Da- and first of all, it's all dudes on stage yeah. dancing. You going stupid? Homeboy. Yeah. Homeboy. Like, Oh, turf dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The turf. Oh, yeah. He talking about turf. Oh, yeah, yeah. Niggas going. It's just fun. Niggas be having for sure fun. Niggas turn. It's up. different. That's what I'm that's saying. Bad. It's definitely a different vibe. I, yeah. That's why I fuck with the Bay so for much. Sure, for and, sure. yeah. so, who do you think was that? Who do you think's the most legendary rapper from the Bay? Uh, who's number one? Who's the top three? Give me the top three. You know, Mac Dre for sure. Mac like, Dre you know sure. what I'm saying? I say Mac Dre, Too Short, E40. You know what I'm saying? I feel yeah. like they put. The bay, it's so many more too. I don't even want to just say those three, but I feel like they the forefront. Of the, a lot of shit that was going on. In the Too bay. short was also one of the first. And my, and my granddad was the, uh, the first rapper at Hunters Point, Celine. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait really? Yeah, yeah, for and, sure. Wait, you know? and your, what was his name? Celine. Celine. Yep. <laughs> what year was that? He on my album actually. Yeah. What? Yeah, on my track one, I got him talking game at the end of my song on my new album. It's called Doing Good at the end. He talking to the little skit at the end of it. You know what I'm saying? That's like hard. also like on like some pimp pimp shit. Yeah, some pimp shit. Yeah. Wow. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. Wait, your dad owned uh-huh. an indie an indie rap label. Yep, yep. What yep, was the did. label called? It's called The Road Records. Who was on that? Anybody would know? Uh you probably wouldn't know who it Just was. Tell us. Like, some, Might uh, be surprised. Probably like some dude named Bud Wise he did a lot of shit with I don't really know who was on it. I think it was some more like, you know what I'm saying? We in the streets, we go just do a record label to, yeah. to clean some shit up type shit. Oh, you know what okay. I'm saying? But he, <laughs> you know, Pop's a professional. You know what I'm saying? He, he the real master manipulator. Is, so is I, he I couldn't tell you for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. What does he think of, of you, they, you rapping? That's, that's, that's my uh, That's what I get my name from, Larry June. What's his name? Larry June. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, crazy. I'm a junior. You know what I mean? oh, so they shit. called me Larry Joe. I'm really the third, but I, you know, what I'm saying? I never really got the uh, me, my, uh, me, his dad. You know, what I'm saying I think he yeah. passed away or some shit, and uh, so everybody called me Larry Joe. You really should about Larry Joe the third because that sounds really fucking. That'd be legendary. Larry Joe the third is a cool, is a cool yeah. ass name. Show. Sure. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a not a real name. It does. Like it sounds like a, uh, a drink, huh? Yeah. Like <laughs> you want that Larry Joe the third tonight? Turn that. <laughs> 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 yeah, still be real quick. <laughs> before rapping though you're really not before rapping but before wanting to take rapping seriously I read that you were really into basketball oh yeah I played basketball for sure and that you could have made the NBA yeah for sure Larry Curry for sure I could have done numbers <laughs> what happened uh, I just stopped going you just got over it yeah I, yeah. I think I didn't really like going to practice like that you know what I'm saying I feel like I was good at basketball at all, but I don't think I was, I was I really wanted to play basketball I just yeah. was good at it naturally I didn't want to go to practice I literally ran cross country just to not go to practice because if you if you run cross country, you don't have to go to practice. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh wow, yeah. Because you're doing cross country, so they already feel, like think you fit or some shit. So I was like, I just rather just jog. I ain't gonna be touching the line and scrimmage. Like, <laughs> well, see, I did something similar. I did something <laughs> yeah. similar. I took band, so I don't have to take PE. Dance for real? Though. Yeah. You took Ben? I Just, wish I was into that. I was into PE. I love PE. Uh, Turn see? That. <laughs> see, I'm like not athletic, bro. Uh-huh. I did not like PE. I took a tennis class, so I didn't have to. Because you would just... I would take tennis class now, actually. <laughs> to be honest. What, did, what, did, what did niggas do in PE? 
Like I you forgot. would literally just run. Like I remember they had a time. Oh, you got run. A time. Yeah, then you could do whatever. Right? You got to run the mile. Yeah. Or I how about to, I used to chill right on the gate and just like count how many times they looped, and then I would just jump in at the last one and just like because you know. My or how about on the again. fun days where they would play um, dodgeball, which is just throw the ball and your voice just cracked. You go, you going back to your adolescence, <laughs> dog. You're throw like ball, dodgeball. <laughs> Do you have a bad dodgeball experience? Well, was that going on? Was that going on in high school though? Dodgeball? Nah, yeah. this nah, is nah that was, that's like middle school. High school, it was literally, yeah, it was just fucking running. And then every, like once a year, they'd make you do those like drills where they would write down how like far you can jump. I got out shit. of a lot of that. I like, didn't do PE. I, got I, mean, I forgot all about all that shit. That's I hate crazy. school, man. I stopped going like in ninth grade for real. Oh, really? <laughs> it was over for me. I couldn't do it. It yeah. wasn't, I could do it. It just wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? No, I didn't school's like, the I, worst. Yeah, I was going to Arizona, back and forth to Arizona and shit. Man. Yeah. I, I was... A wild boy. What were you doing? Where in Arizona? I was everywhere in Arizona, except uh, except Tucson. I was always oh. going back. I'm from Arizona. Arizona. I'm from Phoenix. For real? I was in Phoenix. I was, you know, I was, I was there. Uh, like show fifth, me your Phoenix tattoo. Grade. That's why you had the Phoenix fifth grade tattoo. to like eleventh grade. Oh, that's there. crazy. Yep. Yeah. I was like in the South Phoenix area to the Scottsdale. I even hit Gilbert. You know okay, what yeah, see, well, I said I lived everywhere. in Gilbert before. I lived near Paradise Valley yep. or in Paradise Valley, which is near Scottsdale. Yep. Yeah. Arizona, everything was more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck it. We to Arizona. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And Tempe uh-huh. was kind of turned up. Mm-hmm. Tempe for sure. Tempe. I was fucking around with the ASU campuses, all this shit. Yeah. Well, Arizona, that's the, that's Arizona the, was wild. They Arizona were known for wild. partying, right? They're, that's like known the party, party college. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy in Arizona too, though. It was some like South Phoenix, all that shit. Oh yeah, there, there's definitely that's, gangs, that's and there's shit. definitely um, yeah, a lot. Of, yeah, the people, Mexican people don't gangs know for about sure. That shit, yeah. And also, there's a lot of gangs in Phoenix that are claiming LA streets. We have Piru out there. We have Ven- Venice Tresa out there. So that's we weird. had a lot of um, gangs that are claiming LA streets, which is really random. But that's all over the world, right? Yeah. I don't know. I, I I heard something like that too, but I, I'm not. I don't know about the gang banging too much like that. <laughs> uh, what what do you got coming up? Uh, I just dropped the um the just EP um the called EP. You're Doing Good. That's out everywhere. You know what I'm saying? My latest project, it's like 10 tracks. I just called it an EP just because I'm not trying to label no album right now. Same but shit, damn, same shit Greedo was talking about. Good job, Greedo. <laughs> and then you got a project with Greedo, right? Yeah, we finna do some shit too, for sure. Dope. We finna work on some shit ASAP, how'd, you, ASAP. how'd you link up with Greedo? Man, you know, just mutual homies, you know what I'm saying? I know a few street niggas, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, they tapped me in and I, you know, we tapped in with each other and that's that's what it was. I Actually, see. TK, TK, um, good job, TK. <laughs> So you can't put that together. Dope. Oh, I saw you were listening to Draco earlier. Oh, Draco go crazy. I was just, playing that in the whip. He goes yeah. stupid. You're going to do some shit with Draco, you think? I would like to do something with Draco. He go crazy. We were just talking about that in the uh, whip, how we, um, the reason uh, I fuck with him, because he bringing the lingo, the lingo, like some new shit, like, what this nigga talking about? Full <laughs> flammer? Like, and that shit tight. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't we don't hear that shit. We were just talking about shit, that shit in the whip. He go crazy. That's tight. Sure. I see Off you're hanging drill. out with Jay Worthy. You can do music with him. Oh, yeah. Me and Jay Worthy got a whole album. Together. He know everybody. Oh, wow. Yeah, he know everybody. Yep. And then we finna do some shit with um, we actually finna do like a group thing with me, him, and uh, Currency. Wow. And, uh, That's me and Currency, me and Currency working on some shit too. I just sent Currency some shit. He finna send me some more shit. How did you link with Currency? Um, just um, music shit. And then Jay Worthy was working with him, and then he found out about my shit. And he liked my shit. And I was already a fan of Currency, and it kind of just. That's real legendary. Kind of came together like Damn. that. You're doing good, Larry. Yeah. Very, <laughs> very <Yes>. good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dope. Uh, is there anything else you want to push before we skedaddle? Uh, stay healthy. The juice show numbers. Good job, Larry. Soccer to me. A a a. Yes, Lord. Yeah he. A a. Groovy. <laughs> Ham on everything now. A a. Lord. Groovy. Soccer to me. A a. Yeah he. Yeah he. Goddamn. Soccer to me. You're doing good, Larry. Healthiest nigga in the rap game, bitch ass nigga. Step it up. Off top.